Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included uh, uh, Season 2 and uh, the Crunchy Citadel. We're here today to do all of the things that you told me to do in the comments. Don't worry, I see them. I hear them. I, I, I hear ya. We're gonna do them. We're gonna do them. Number one, of course, in, in my mind, is is food. So we're gonna take some space here. We're gonna make make a little food little food outlet over here. I'm just gonna nine all of that up so they take care of that. And then also with that, um, food is going to be uh, nosh beans as well. So I'm gonna move to nosh sprouts and kind of get get my hands on that now as well. And that will be that'll be really helpful. I know that the body temperature is kind of an issue. I don't think it really the atmosphere can be carbon dioxide, but the body temperature is an issue because it's, it's some for some reason too cold over here. It is just oh no, it's not that it's too cold. It is too warm over here. My apologies, too warm. So I may need to deal with uh, making that a little bit colder. And I'm just checking in here if the brine. Perhaps later, if I'm able to run that over there, could could solve that problem. So actually, that's a little bit of an issue. There's no point in me really digging into here. Right off the bat, errors. There's no point in me really digging into there yet until they've got that sorted. Now, the other thing is we do have some mealwood, mealworm here to kind of help us out. Mealwood, sorry. Mealwood over here to help us out. And a few more hexalins to grab too, just in case. Now, I know there was a little bit of talk about the off-gassing of the polluted water. Fair. I'm not quite there yet. We're not quite ready, I don't think. But what I do want to do, because, right, I need, I don't have the, the research completed to deal with that. So let me just see here. So we're just going to research uh, the deodorizer. I do just need that done. I know I could deal with some yucky lungs. I think the oxygen is okay at the moment, but we will plant an oxy fern or two probably down near the bottom of the base. I'm gonna dig up some that are elsewhere, you know, some that aren't right on hand. And I do actually want them to kind of get us over here as well, just to make sure we're prepared to be able to grab some of that because we're gonna need it. We're, we're simply going to need algae at some point, as this will not last very long. Now, we do have a uh, carbon dioxide piling here. Maybe I move that oxyfern down, because the oxyfern, the domesticated one, is going to be much better. I would also love to domesticate the, the pips so that I can get some free dirt. That would be nice. And then in research as well, let me close that off. Just for food, I was thinking maybe I research that, but actually what I'm what I'm realizing is let's not do that. We'll just put these down and we'll have them manually take care of it for the time being, and that is okay. So there we go. We'll have some of those down. I'll actually put them on nine so that they take care of it pretty well right away. And then let's talk about kind of the base structure. So there were some comments as well um, on the base structure and how it isn't particularly efficient and some of my room sizes are a little wonky and that's fair. And I'm thinking we we may move some things around. Namely, actually, this can be deconstructed. No, wait, that can't be deconstructed. Never mind, cancel that. Namely, just looking at kind of the research stuff, we can move the research. I'm just going to copy it. Can I copy this, the main computer over here, right there, and then the ration box. It was suggested I put the ration box in a carbon sink, which I might actually do right here. This might be where it goes. Let me grab food, ration box. Let's put that right there. Someone else build that. That will also be a nine. Here we go. Run, my little friends, run. We'll put that over there. Also, did I accidentally put eggs in here? I did. No critter eggs in there, please. We're going to just copy the settings across them so that we don't have that, that critter egg problem. And there is a critter egg. That's what I thought. Okay. And hopefully this is food or something that can help me along. Fungal spore? I will take that. That I recall being quite good. Uh, I know we can't eat them and we'll need the grill for that, but that's okay. We'll take care of that very soon. 
Let's also have them rip open the next top level there. A lot of, lot of nothing going on right now. They're, they're kind of depressed about this situation, and that's, that's okay. I understand. I have made several errors already, but it's all good. It's all good. This is what happens when you're so deep into a system, like a, the old, the old way. You know, I just a lot of it has just escaped me over, over all this time. You know, so. We need to set up our piping again. Oh my gosh, don't do that to me. So we need to set up our piping again to make sure we actually, you know, create water and movement and all that. But yes, okay, back to back to my one, one step at a time here. Uh, I'm thinking I'll leave this alone, the way that this is structured. And we're going to move the ladder over one and then Eventually, that side will be the probably pipe, the the air, not the airflow pipe, but the transportation tube, so they can take their their little, little pneumatic tube system and and go on off. So what we'll do is we're just going to switch this out for that, and then the uh, the pole will go down that way as well once we're once we're good. So we're going to uproot that. We're going to deconstruct that and deconstruct that, and off the bed they go having eaten food and earned none. All right, so I've got them, they, they planted some food. So look at us go, we got two two things of food here. Lovely. Obviously not perfect yet, we, we need more, but that'll do for the time being. Also, let's take you, copy settings, put you on there. We're gonna put you on a nine. I want them to start storing the food over there. It's a little bit more of a trek, unfortunately, but it's, it, it, it is the way that it is, okay? And then the pips are kind of one of the, oh, all right, shit, you literally have already consumed all of the food. Okay. That is less than ideal. I wanted to leave things unharvested, unaltered, and untouched, but judging by the fact that they're consuming everything so quickly, I may need to uproot these plants so that I can so I can consume them. Very sad, but it is what it is. So we're gonna uproot these plants because we we need to we need to plant them. <laughs> we need to plant them for our own food. And I am being a little cheap here, you know, you can already see I'm not really touching the arbor trees. I'm trying to kind of let them grow without worrying too much about having to feed them dirt and stuff until I'm a little bit farther along and I'm a little bit more set up. Maybe that's not the best strategy I don't know but it is the strategy that we're we're going with nonetheless also pips by the way pips they, I know I know they eat those they eat those little arbor trees and they will uh, they'll give me dirt so that is kind of the only way I'm thinking of keeping things sustained in a way so that, that there there is that there is that now let me just deconstruct one of these so Obviously, this was this was not planned. It didn't go the way I had intended here. So let me just I just need to copy the building, put that one here. So and we'll, we'll probably deconstruct this in a second, and maybe we'll end up putting a second door in and then have another lavatory or, or something over here. But for the time being, we'll get them to do that. Fix that up. Put this on a nine. Do we have more mealwood seeds? We do. Let's get them to plant that. And then this one is also on a nine. Okay, so food is 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 kind of an emergency, but they are also, you know, able to, to munch it uh, as well that way. So also we will deconstruct this building and then we'll be able to move that over here, put in the power supply, close off the room, and it's a laboratory. And I don't know, I know, Terracom, I know you were, you, you've given me this suggestion, but I don't know if you watched all of my last series, uh, I never did that. So uh, I, I didn't know there was a laboratory as a building option. So thank you. I, I, I made a little, 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 little error there and, and didn't have that the whole time we played last time. So I'm sure some people were hitting their heads against the wall watching me absolutely ruin my my own existence there and not have it but 
Hey, here we go. It's an upgrade. Everything, everything's an upgrade this time, even though it's chaos right away. It's going fine. Huh. I have just found myself a robot builder or a biobot builder, which is very interesting. So I don't really know much about those. I've never actually seen it before. So that is, uh, that is fun. Look at you. There's a little friend in there too. We'll have to get somebody to investigate and, and see here at some point in time. It'll be good to be able to go around there. Beautiful. Uh, okay, so we're going to be making use of a laboratory very soon. And in the meantime, we need to figure out what to do about the uh, w the polluted water. I'm thinking, again, shove it all the way down here. This is really my, my thought. Uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of heat leaking from here. So this actually would be a really safe bet to go in here. And there's it is a vacuum. So nothing, nothing in particular going in there, and that would give me access to this and another pip and and all the works in there. So that is actually probably what I'm going to do in a moment. I do want to to build this as a bathroom, so I just need them to kind of lock it up for me. And they're building things, kind of. They're trying. They're trying. And you know what? Let me commit and dig out this arbor tree because it might actually be having an issue um, existing let me let me just upload it all together that's okay look listen they're making they're making progress they're making they're making good progress let's do this this good and again like I said we're just having hosting ladders on on, on the other side for now it'll switch eventually to the the, the piping the tubes and uh, the right side will be the the pole. Pipes and poles. That's that's what we're talking about. So I'll just try to keep things in order. Let's just keep things kind of... We'll, we'll keep things set up to sweep, but obviously they're not going to do it. And then we want to set up a ranch pretty early on, too. Um, not quite sure how exactly we're going to do that yet, but it's it's coming. Uh, trying to decide, I guess, where to put it, if I want it near the food supply, if I want it near... Maybe, yeah, maybe just on this level. And you might be wondering, why did I do this? Well, it's just, it's temporary. What, what's going on there? Is there a pip right there? Pip. What? Can someone please free the potentially trapped pip? Hello, friend. Why were you locked in there? You can stay in the build. How did we even do that? <laughs> Don't go back in the. Co okay, stop that. <laughs> you little shit disturber, you. Um, the other thing, let me just check here in the rooms. I'm gonna slow it down for a second so they behave a little bit. Uh, in the rooms, we've got greenhouse, which enables farm station use. Crops grown within a greenhouse uh, can be tended with farm station fertilizer to increase their growth speed. Okay, well. Listen, i never done that before, but uh, we'll, we'll make it happen. How big can that be? Is it 64 or is it 90 something or other? Where'd it go? A maximum of 96, so 90 something or other. <laughs> so we're good there. How do they feel about decor? Are they upset? Like how's morale doing amongst them? If I go and check their vitals, not great. They're not happy with the decor. They're quite, uh, they're quite upset about it. But hey, listen, you little shits, stop demanding so much from me. What, what we'll do, what we'll do then is we'll focus on getting them to clean some stuff up. So let me just kind of get them to, to do that portion. Oh, they've done actually quite a bit of digging here. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, 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 okay. So we're all good with a lot of, a lot of stuff. So. The next move, let's do, I should plant another millwood actually. We'll put the oxifern here. Somebody do that really quickly. Uh, we'll put the mealwood seed here and another mealwood seed here. We'll deal with kind of the space up here in a second, perhaps giving them a little bit more food, more food. There's, there's bubbles with the oxifern, okay. Securing the oxygen supply and investigating all the critters. There's so many critters 
in this one. I don't remember there being so many different ones right off the start in the old colony. Also, our oxygen supply is really quite bad. We are struggling a lot with it, which is which is unfortunate. They're doing their darndest, though. They're doing their darndest. They'll get it done. But, uh, you know, not not good. Not good compared to what it should be. It's, it's, it's 42, and we consumed uh, 182. So the, the carbon dioxide is really sneaking its way up into the base, which is not what we want. And we're going to do our best to kind of continue to move towards a more sustainable model there. And, of course, again, the germs. I'm thinking germ water in here. It's the plan. May not be a good plan, but that is the plan. We're going to rip this open. It's protected from the signs, so I'm not too worried about any heat here. And I'm actually totally fine opening most of this up. But I would like to avoid chlorine a little bit. I'm not too worried about it. I've handled it before. It makes them depressed. It's all that fun stuff. But it, I just, I would like to keep it separate a little bit. So anyway, we're going to dig all the way down to here. All the way down to the uranium. And I, I guess the last time I didn't really see the sense in uranium. It didn't provide me with a massive purpose. But I'm going to just dig, for me anyway... Right now, we're going to dig down and, and, and use this as the drop. And actually, I could even, if I'm really wanting to be lazy with it, I could even drop it as uh, from all the way up here and just have it go down the ladder chute. And that would, that would also work. So what I'm going to do is, is there any stinky in here? No. So I'm going to do this. I want to avoid those for the time being. And we'll keep it pretty small. Okay, they can't dig that yet. Well, you know what? Somebody's going to dig it. I, I say somebody's going to dig it. Nobody has the skill to do it or the, the space for the skill to do it. So, my hands are died. That's what I'm saying. My hands are died. Now, they are doing things. I don't know what. I need to guide them along here. Let's... Let's up the priority a little bit. Number six. Let's put that on a little bit of a higher priority. Um, so they do that. Actually, maybe we'll put it on a seven, to be honest. So they do it. And then a six. We'll put that on a six, maybe. So they do that, too. How big is this room, and why is it not a room? Uh, too big, eh? 74 tiles. Yeah. So it's going to be too large on this side. Why? Is there space right there? Design flaws. Design flaws, folks. Nope, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can build this, though. That's okay. I'll let it happen. And then put a pneumatic door there as well. And then we'll figure this whole dealio out in a minute. There's a lot of breathable gas, though. So that will be a little bit of a nice burst into uh, our space here. Now... You're minting oxygen not very quickly, but you are doing a better job than the other ones by a significant margin. I only wanted to domesticate one because I don't really want to babysit them. Again, this is like, this is my resource issue. I don't want to babysit them all the time. But if I have to, I will. If I have to, I will. Now, also, this could be deconstructed. Is this all, uh... It's all hooked up, okay, and I too want to do this. It's getting it's getting this set up. Let me let me just quote Terracom Consulting here for a minute. I I printed this out, by the way. It's on paper now in front of me, so I could have everything here. And and Terracom Consulting here suggested that by the end of day two you should have a barracks and a latrine. I do not. And it is day fifteen. Um by <laughs> <laughs> By the end of day three or four, you should have a mess hall for an additional three morale. I also do not have that. By day ten, you should have a great hall increase in morale um, from three to six. So, putting my paper aside and, uh, and looking at the disaster that I have before me, we're failing. But, it's okay. It's all good. We're doing just fine. I'm going to put out... The, the tables. I don't really want to build the mess hall in this format, but I will I will take it for the time being. Because a mess hall, it doesn't... 
I don't think if we look in the building here, mess hall, ma minimum size three, yeah, it, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna build it like this. We'll have them do it now, so that it's yeah, you know, it makes them happy. They're not quite as uh, they're not quite as upset about it, and and we're good there. I'm also going to deconstruct that building and deconstruct this building so they stop researching over on the right. And the algae is this is this an insufficient resource? Is that I have no algae? Oh my gosh, they're going to kill themselves. They're going to kill themselves. Holy shit. Can't take anybody else. We'll just take a shine in. It'll be okay. You little rodents, quit being goofy and live better. Also, a lot more ice up there. But st stop, stop this. You're you're killing yourselves. My God. Where? Okay. How are we doing? Oh wow, even worse than before. So let's open that up a little bit, give it a little bit more room to breathe. It probably doesn't need it, but that's what we're gonna do. And we will put a few more down. I'll go and dig them out because this is bad. This is bad at this point, and they're they're only capable of doing so many things at a time. So we can try to do that next. Get a little bit more algae running around there. Did, they, did we do we have? Is this a mess hall? Hey, look at that! A mess hall. Okay, good. That's lovely. So Bubbles, Devon, Max, and Mima. There you go. We've got a beautiful little mess hall in your corner and soon we'll even have a latrine for you as well. Maybe one day. Maybe one day you'll have a, a great hall and a bathroom that actually functions. But until that point, no. So, okay. Let, let's look at the top here. Are there any more oxy ferns that we could pull? We could pull that one. We could, that, that should actually be dug out right there to free that up. There are still quite a few oxyferns. It's just, I'm afraid by the amount of stuff that they may consume here. Because it needs water and dirt. But honestly, you know what, maybe it's totally fine. How is, how is that? Uh, it's got some carbon dioxide in it too. If I pop that open, let's uproot that and uproot that. We'll put those on nines and we'll put them down there. Anything, any of the higher level ones, so like this one for instance, that'll also bring down there and this one too. Let's grab that as well. Uproot that. And I think that would be pretty well all of the ones loosey-goosey in this area thus far. And then there are a couple, one, two down there, three, and then there are two over here that we'll be able to make use of as well. And let's just check something. How is the food supply going? Meal lice, 4K, excellent fruit, okay. So the meal wood is going, I think it was suggested I need four per dupe. Obviously don't have that because why? Why would I have anything uh, to any degree of, of adequacy at all. Why, don't don't question it. It just it happens that way sometimes. Now let's do that. The pips. I, I, I did want the pips to live here, but honestly, maybe if I have a little bit of a farm here, a little bit here, put the pips in here, semi ranch it up, put like a door in between because the pips are right here. So I kind of want to keep them over here and just just leave them. Oh, present. Yeah, the shine bug is causing a little bit of a, a problem. But it'll be resolved soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can you... Could you please do me the biggest favor and deal with this? Okay, so we got a little bit of algae going on. They did a good job there collecting it. And we're going to be storing it all in, in here. So that's good. There's a little polluted dirt apparently in there as well. But now we've got a bit of algae to help us along here. It's going to pretty well all be used up though. So the focus on the oxyferns is probably necessary to make sure we survive a little bit longer. And we're going to actually just put this on a 9. So they do that task next. 
so I can plug in those extra oxyferns to uh, to keep them alive, and then we'll make them do this as an eight, and then we'll put more um, more of the mealwood in there, and and hopefully then we'll have food, and then I can deal with this nonsense. Is this this is still a problem? There's still not there's still not a room enough. Let's do that and that seven and seven. That'll that'll resolve some more problems. Uh, and look at what I found over here. Another secret. Another secret. We know that there's a friend there. And we're going to have to dig it out to see what it is. I haven't actually seen any more yet. So we're just taking a quick look around. Nothing yet. But, uh, you know, it's always nice to have them on hand. And I'm very excited to be able to, uh, you know, get, get access to more free stuff. So... We're going to see, you know, in this site report, let's take a look. You folks can see it, I can see it, okay? There are still germs in the colony. Absolutely not. We refuse. We refuse. Calorie generation, 800. Removed, 5,400. So, not, not, still, still not doing too well in the food department. It's okay, though. We're, we're working on it. We're getting there. The work time is 35% good, travel time 51% less good, and then we've got uh, a few, where's the oxygen generation? There we go, we balanced it out yesterday, so that would probably be because of the oxy ferns that were dealt with down there, so that is, uh, that is lovely, that is lovely, great even, and, and the fact that we've got the, uh, the oxygen diffuser going, so We'll have that going for a bit if we run out of algae again. I mean, we're using a pretty... We've suggested we'll dig out a pretty big chunk over here. And I'm actually going to put all of this on a four. So it's not done super urgently. So, it, it, not not ideal. But, you know, it is necessary if if this is, if this is just how it's going to go, you know? So, okay. Let's see here. Do we have another Oxyfern? No. Alright. That's fine. So I think, just based on how things have gone thus far, it's time to turn our attention to this here. So we can finally set up all of our piping and stuff and uh, do do something goofy like this. I wonder, would that cover everything if I put it on there? Does that cover everything in, in, in bad liquid? Let's put it on. Let's see what happens. I'm going to put this all on a 9. I want them to take care of this pretty well now just so we can get the party started so I don't need to worry about it in the future I gotta I gotta get it done oh okay yeah you can that's fine that's okay and we'll actually deconstruct that battery because it's not needed somebody do that on a nine thank you and just to clarify that's not gonna mess anything up it shouldn't you're gonna be good yeah right we're good that's taken him a really long time. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right. Nice. And then they're they're going down here quite strongly. So while I let them do that, it's time to figure this all out. So the whites are all in. So this is good. And then the outs, I think what we'll do is we'll just run them into each other. And then down. And we should be able to just do that. That, that should work fine. We'll see. We'll see what happens. We do mainly want to make sure this stays safe, though. So I'll probably end up putting in additional walling here. Just so that the there's a little bit of double right here. And I don't suspect I'm going to put in uh, a, a, a tube here. Because I think this is just going to be to handle the, the stinky water. Which we'll sit in. Is this a cold area or a warm area? I mean, it's cold right now, but it doesn't really have a reason to be cold so I can fix that and of course we're already out of algae again that was quite fast but it is what it is I will take some hatchlings perfect and hopefully these little fellas can begin the the digging down process the process that I that I need them to do get it done my little doobies okay so they've done everything they can until I get super hard digging and of course the problem is I don't I don't have that so we're in a little bit of a, a, a standstill here as we just kind of decide how what is the next do I just give everybody a little bit more digging and see who gets it first let me throw it 
on this one here. Let me throw it on Mima. And hopefully Mima can get another skill point or two and we can throw Mima at this. So that'll be good. All of the piping is already set up. Insane. What is... Did they already start... Okay, it's fine. We'll let it off gas. It wasn't really my intention to have that happen. But it happened nonetheless. So I will I will just allow it for the time being. Very un unfortunate, but that that's my that's my bad. I mean, now they have a a latrine kind of, right? Ish. Can I just get them to could they build this really quickly? I'd really like it if they could fix that so that it could be considered a room. <laughs> Cuz right now it's not. It makes them Sad. Actually, they destroyed the morale of two rooms in that process, so we'll do this. This second room and this second, like, door situation isn't actually needed, so I I don't know. I'm, I'm just happy that they, they just did all of that work to make it pretty. I do need a little bit more research done for food and, and insulation purposes. Where is the insulation? There we go. Okay, there's where the uh, the insulated tiles are. We're gonna we're gonna research that now, so we have it unlocked because we're going to need it very soon because this is already kind of creeping in, and that's that's really not good actually. And we we need to lock it out right away. We need to lock it out right away so that we can continue to maintain the nice cold aesthetic that's going on down here. And I think we're even safe-ish. No, we're not safe from this. Never mind. Fully lied. But we'll rip this all open and it's actually not going to be an issue. But I do want to see... I really want to know what that is while avoiding chlorine. I don't really want to get involved in it yet. I do want to see what this is. I'm going to just... To get those tiles. We'll just kind of have the tiles set up to be dug. But not do it quite yet. Ooh, I could actually rip through in here as well if needed. There we go. Okay, good. We are pretty well right now only surviving on the hexalent really when i when i when i highlight that it's hexalent fruit uh 18 000. and the meal lice is only 1100 i don't think any of these have really grown yet and maybe you know if i was to put a light bulb in it might grow it might do a better job but i'm not i'm not sure Okay, so we're, we're clearing out a couple of things right now. Clearing up, I suppose, a couple of things right now. And one of the things that I'm realizing, just right off the bat here, is that I did not sort this out, this shaft out. It's okay. This this one will be sorted and everything will be fine. Oh my goodness, everything needs to be moved over one, two in here. Oh, it's chaos, it's chaos over here, it's chaos. It's not going perfect, but it, it's going fine at the end of the day. It'll be all right. And I just really need the the super digging skill. I need I need them to be able to dig that out. And it is a bummer that I don't have that yet. You, level up you little shit. Do your job. You as well. You disappoint me. One of them one of them one of them will level up and I'll I'll deal with it then. But we're we're digging this out because I did sort this already, and I understand that this was not exactly how I wanted things to go, but eh, it's okay. It's okay for the time being. I'm going to rip into here now, though. This is going to be the next step of the process. And I really didn't want the meal wood here because I need a door. But I'm going to... We're going to get into uh, ranching now. We're going to get into ranching now. And what is this? Replace the outhouse and wash basins with lavatories and sinks. Yes. Yes siree, I've done it. Now we're gonna rip all of this open because this is where I have decided I will temporarily place my ranch. Uh, it could go elsewhere, but you, you know, honestly, what I'm seeing a lot of is pips. I'm seeing a lot of pips and I think it's time to kill them all. Now, specifically that one, that one should die. Cause the pips, the pips will drop food, right? Like that's how this works. And there's a pip egg there. Like that's what that is. Yeah, pip egg. So, it should be fine, really and truly. Let's put a nine here, folks. You can do this. I know you can. Let's let's speed it up a little bit so they they run off and do that. 
I don't love exactly what's happening over here, but, uh, you know, live, live and learn. Live and learn. It's okay. I'm, I'm fine for now. And I'm even just going to lock it off in a, in again, a weird, weird manner. It's okay. It just, because now they're in light. So it counts as them being well lit. And there's even a, there's even a little shine nymph in there. So that's lovely. And then we'll put these on a seven. So they do this next, just so that we do have those research bonuses going. And then we'll fix up the ladders too, because this is just chaos and I don't love that. But Another time. Another task for another time. Where is... Oh, shit. They did their research fast. Okay. Well, since that's done, you're going to do the other thing that I want you to do now. Uh, there it is. Ranching. Perfect. So let's get that underway. Because we're going to put our ranch over here. And it's a little disappointing that I've kind of freed everything. But it is what it is, you know. It happens. It happens sometimes. Where is... How does a... What is the size of a ranch? Stable. Sorry, it's a stable, it's not a ranch. Minimum 12, maximum 94. So, yeah, this is not going to be perfect. But again, we're focusing on the idea that it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be perfect at the moment. I'd really like it to be perfect, but, you know, we cannot have what we like. So, we're just going to do it. Uh, we're going to do it like this, a little bit janky. And ultimately, it, 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 it will get better with time. You know, it, it will get better with time. Just kind of sorting the base planning and some of those, some of those really necessary. Where are you going? What you? What did you just do? What did you do? What did you do? What are you doing? Sneaky little bastard. Where are you going? I should kill this one. What? Hey. I didn't know that they would do that. You, I need to put a door on this. They're stealing my shit. <laughs> I'm not actually sure if they are stealing it. That looked like they were stealing. Why do you steal from me? Okay, so we've established that they're thieves. So that's nice. Uh, well, that'll be done soon. We'll be good. The water supply is weakening a little bit. But we can always grab from this really hot liquid if I need to. Again... Not something I wanted to do, but if it is something I have to do, I will accept. Now, the brine is minus 10, so I'm wondering minus 10 versus 56. It comes out at a higher temperature than that, but maybe just a regular one will be fine in there. Just a regular pump, and then down it goes. The only thing I'm worried about is getting in there and flooding it and, and causing problems. I'll probably have to go in this end as well, and that'll be fine, actually. That'll be okay. Problem solved. It's all good. I think what I should do is put in some sort of mesh tile to protect that area and mesh tiles here as well to protect this so that any water that's stinky that I don't want in here doesn't actually make it into here. That might be that might be what we have to do. Could we disinfect? Where's my disinfect button? There it is. Can we disinfect some stuff please just to not have people get food poisoning that would be lovely that'd be nice oh i wasn't paying attention i had left this kind of going and now they've broken into it and i wasn't uh, i didn't know it was gonna happen that's okay we'll fold that up oh hello oxy fern i didn't know about uproot you'll go down here you will go down here and I will plant you there, and it appears that I'm going to need actually another one of you, and you can be uprooted, and you can be uprooted. And what we'll do is, food-wise, do a couple more planters, just to deal with that. And, uh, is there... I'm sorry. Are you alive? Hmm. That doesn't work like that, right? Like, I can't... I can't just build a tile under one of these and then have it come to life like that. Let me see, actually. Cancel the uproot on all of those. Don't uproot it. Just, just do the do this. We'll see if they, they end up just being in there. Which would be weird, but I, I accept. Listen, I'm not one to complain about that sort of, that sort of thing happening. 
Now, I'm going to put an arbor tree here because that's that's what I think is best. Uh, that is for the pips to eat and for me to kill them. So, I'm going to... Pips, when I murder, they drop food, right? Like, did I ever get meat? I didn't get meat. Did I even kill the one that I said I was going to kill? I don't know. Maybe not. We'll take a fungal spore. Seed of a dust cap. Dusk cap. We should be able to do that. When you die, you give me food, right? They are known to bury seeds in the ground wherever they find suitable space. Stop stealing my shit and planting it. I know you're being little bastards and do stop taking my shit. Um, I need to get that one out of there because it keeps messing with my stuff. A typical lifespan, yeah, it drops 100 meat. Okay, so this really isn't a, a, a problem for me. I'm going to, I'm going to murder them. I'm going to murder them. Now... Set up this whole room. Oh, this isn't on nine. That would be why they're being so slow about it. So we'll get them to do that. Stations. Station, station. Give me a grooming station. Uh, I'll put the grooming station right here. I won't put it right next to the door in case I move things around a little bit. And how big is the room? 93 tiles. Lovely. So it is the it is it is good height, good tiles. And it ends up being fine because. What happens here is the pips just run around anyway. It's not like the hatch is all crammed in on the on the ground there. Now, arbor acorn. Let's plant that tree. It will need polluted water, which is actually fine because we can get polluted water from over here and then bring it all the way over here and everything's good, right? Oh, son of a bitch. Nobody can ranch. I, God damn it. Ugh. So interesting, we've run out of algae again, which, great. Um, but the problem is, look at this. So 83 last cycle, which is odd because I thought that these produced more than that. Like, how did I say a second? Um, very unfortunate. Do I have any more on hand? No, I do not. But I do have more mealwood I can plant, which will also be good. I don't know why those things are there. Um, okay, and down here you've done this, and it uprooted this. It uprooted them. So I think those little guys are planting things without my consent. They're planting shit in places I don't want them to plant. They disappoint me. They disappoint me. But it's fine. So, okay, we have a hatch. It's going to go around eating stuff. That's fine. Really, now I need somebody who can ranch, which is probably, and I should have made it max, I think. Oh, damn, it's a two-pointer. Oh, that's brutal. Um, hmm. Really, really quite the predicament. Uh, let's take a look at their ages. Are there any that I could maybe kill? You're 49. You are 39. You're 88. Let's take this one out. And and give it a little bit bat, bit bat. Combat. Yes, sir. And that will make us a little... <laughs> Didn't it just go meet me? Oh my god. God, that sounded so sad and dejected. Oh, it sounded like I did what I did, which was kill it. Oh, that's what I, that's not what I want in a critter. I don't want to deal with that noise. Quiet, you. <laughs> now, that does not make enough meat. I have to kill two of them. Give me another. You, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's in your mouth? Planting a seed. What did you find? These little shits. I don't... What did you plant? You planted a mer... And it died immediately. I blame you. Kill it. Go get his food. Yeah, look at him run. Go take care of that little f the little fiend there. Alright, great. So now that that's done, we can... We're not able to do that. That didn't count. Did you guys eat it raw? What's wrong with you? No, there's enough meat. There we go. One thing of barbecue. Okay. Just one. Just one, please. And uh, I'm going to go out on a limb here and make an assumption that nobody can do that. Oh, no. Wait. I did give somebody the grilling skill, so we're fine. Everything's fine. It's now I need a rancher. 
Uh, boy, are they, uh, they're running me into a wall here today. They're being little shits about it. Let's put that all on a nine. And let's see, I need to find the rest of their eggs. What is that? Son of a bitch. These little bastards, they plant shit wherever they want. I'm thinking, you know, it'll be good for them later if I give them arbor seeds and just drop them somewhere and then give them a bunch of dirt. That would be good. Perhaps right up here. Just dirt. Give them the arbor seeds. They can do whatever they want with them. <laughs> they are so problematic. The little shits. But there we go. I think we've gone quite a bit done today. I think we've got, uh, you know, a good understanding of where we're going. A clear understanding of where we're going. Uh, there's obviously a bunch of stuff that needs to get done that did not. So, you know, oxygen generation is still struggling quite a lot. And I think, you know, one of those things is just uprooting and planting more of the oxyferns. And then for food, more mealwood seeds. I'm just going to keep adding them on and cancel the upper I'm just gonna keep adding on mealwood seeds and hoping for the best there as well so you know they're really doing a good job we're really underway here and i think i think we're gonna be golden we're gonna be set for the next next round uh, next episode next week do let me know if you got more comments you know keep them keep them coming the i'll just print them out again it's just it, I, i'll just print them out that way i got it and i can use it like a checklist basically and we kind of work through the things. Obviously, food, again, like I said, food's a little bit of an issue. But we're trying to resolve it, maybe, kind of. We're getting there. We're getting there. And then uh, things are things are underway, though. And things are going pretty smoothly. But we need that digging skill and we need that ranching skill. And then we'll be in a little bit of a better position, I think. So if you folks did enjoy this episode, do let me know down below. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And as always, thank you for stopping by. Have you did, and I'll see you next time.